A lot of people, a of lot of people are skeptical about Donald Trump. But with the help of Jim Baker, I want to try and just make the argument that there's some very positive traits that Trump has been exhibiting lately, not the least of which that he got rid of Anthony Scaramucci. Actually, that is my least favorite thing that he did. But, uh, but here is uh, Jim Baker interviewing Steve Strang, who is from Charisma. Is this right? Charisma Magazine. Lori and I are on the, on the advisory council. We don't talk about that a whole lot, but he, he has so many of us, and it's people like Billy Graham's daughter. And Graham Lotz. Yeah. He has so many pastors and preachers on his advisory boards, his spiritual advisory board, that they all can't come to meet at one time. Dr. Don Colbert and Mary are on advisory board. Yeah. Well, they go to a different meeting than we go to because the boards are so big. And it's growing. I mean, more and more and more and more and more. This, so pause this it for one second. So, so Jim Baker, does he go to the special um, uh, former convict uh, leaders, evangelical leader one? It's the a big rede- meeting, too. The, the redeemed one. There's a lot of people the in that meeting. One. Right. I support and people of putting we've their lives back together again and... You know, going from hookers to buckets. Right. Bring in, uh, bring in, they, they, they don't have the room because the, the food buckets take up a lot of the space. At, uh, his meeting. All right, good. So this is so interesting. And people say, how can you endorse Donald Trump as a Christian? Did you ever hear anybody ask you that question? <laughs> well, they haven't asked that specific question, but, you know, the th- the, whether or not he's a Christian is between him and God. That's right. It's right. not for all of us to judge yeah. him. Pause now, it. Yes, sir. And just be clear on why that's the case. It's because he's white. Only God can judge me. But when he's black, then, of course, you can judge his Christianity. But that's because there's prima facie evidence that he might be Muslim because of the skin color. But continue. Right. It's not for all of us to judge yeah. him. Now, yes, there are things in his life, you know, that we've talked about before that we don't approve of but you you don't hear those things in the last 10 years and his language has improved better and remember that guy that he appointed um scaramucci oh yes absolutely who had a quote and said some really vile Mm -hmm. things do you remember that yes Mm -hmm. yes he got rid of him right now we can only speculate why but, but my personal opinion is that that interview was part of it and he just decided he didn't want his key people um, talking like that in public. That's right. Yeah, the idea of using profanity or something, just, yeah, just, just not going to work. Just, just totally disgusting. horrible. Have you trying seen how to show the looks kids. in that dress? I'm oh just trying God. to show the kids. And I don't want Scaramucci around I'd here. I'd love to see this. Scaramucci's reaction to that. Like, yeah. Oh, so now I'm, I'm the one criti- guy? Uh, so now I'm getting criticized by some fucking scamsters on some Christian TV station. They need to learn how to make fucking money on Wall Street. Hi, folks. Sam Cedar here. We still need your help on our Patreon page. YouTube ads have come back, but not nearly as much as we had before. So if you can help us out, any little bit helps. Head over to our Patreon page right at this URL, and you'll help us keep helping you by making videos.